Hi everyone, I'm Okoyemi. Today we'll be looking at continuity of life. It is important for us to note that the only guarantee for continuity of life is true reproduction. That makes reproduction a constant development in living beings. Our focus today will be on reproductive system in vertebrates, reproductive system in plants, as well as pollination in plants. Here is a typical example of a reproductive system in vertebrates of an amphibian, of a bird, and that of a mammal. Now we're going to consider the basic reproduction in vertebrates. We're going to look at two types. We're going to look at sexual and asexual. Sexual is the reproduction of the union of gametes to form his zygote, while asexual is the reproduction without the use of a specialized organ, such as we have in snakes. Reproductive organ in a vertebrate includes gonad. Gonad produces the gametes and the hormone needed for reproduction. In aquatic species, we have external fertilization, while in terrestrial, we have internal fertilization. For vertebrate like primitive fishes, they have organs for sperm transfer. Now we're going to look at reproductive system in plants. This has to do with germination and further development of the seeds that results in the production of new plants. In plants as well, we have sexual and asexual. Sexual is the fusion of male gametes with female gametes in the oval of a flower, while asexual is the production of new plants from the vegetative organ of the plants, from the stems and the leaves. However, it is only sexual method of reproduction that is linked with seed production. Finally, we are going to consider pollination. What is pollination? Pollination is a transfer or movement of pollen grains from anther of a flower to the receptive stigma. We have two types. We have self-pollination. We have cross-pollination. Self-pollination has to do with pollen grains from the flower of a plant to the stigma of another flower on the same plant. While cross-pollination has to do with pollen grains being transferred to the receptive stigma of another flower on another plant. Modes of pollination include by insects, by wind, and so on and so forth. Now, our assignment, we are expected to list other forms of reproduction in vertebrates. Thank you for listening. Is bye for now.